Lexi, thank you so much for sharing your story of your pathway to education and career success. Your, your story illustrates why all of us are here tonight. We want to make sure young adults are able to access opportunity. Every one of us in this room knows that when young adults are doing well, their communities are doing well too. You're going to hear more stories like Lexi's tomorrow throughout the summit. My name is Melanie Anderson. On behalf of Opportunity Nation, it's my pleasure to welcome you all as friends and family of Opportunity Nation. When I look out at this room, I am energized and inspired. Collectively, our partners reach more than 100 million Americans. Just think what we can all do if we work together. As Director of Government Affairs at Opportunity Nation, one of the most rewarding parts of my job is bringing young leaders like Lexi to meet with their member of Congress. Today, 95 of our Opportunity Leaders, all of whom have made a personal commitment to expand opportunity to all Americans, took our message of increased pathways to young adults to over 80 members of Congress. These opportunity leaders, many of them who are young adults, have come from every corner of the country and have lent their voices, talents, and perspective to the national movement to end youth unemployment. I would like all of those opportunity leaders to stand up. a growing movement to restore opportunity in America. This effort has reached a critical tipping point, particularly for our nation's youth who face unacceptably high levels of unemployment and disconnection. It is time to change that. Tomorrow will include opportunities to listen, learn, and connect to a cross-sector audience of fellow leaders in the opportunity movement, all of whom have a vested interest in helping young Americans succeed. This summit is not a moment in time. It's momentum in a national conversation that keeps growing. Just look around you. There are over four, 300 coalition partners, employers, philanthropy, and young adults in this room. We're here today because of a couple key groups. First, our co-conveners to help put, us, put this summit on. The US Chamber of Commerce Foundation, the Business Roundtable, Jobs for America's Graduate, and United Way Worldwide. We could not have put this summit on without their help. Round of applause for them. <laughs> Second, we are so fortunate to have a set of partners who believe in the power of convenings like this one and join us in our commitment to making them available to leaders like yourselves free of charge. I want to take a moment to thank our generous sponsors. Bank of America, State Farm, City Foundation, the Annie E. Casey Foundation, Walmart, Case Foundation, and Apollo Education Group. Additional support for youth attendance and a key breakout sessions was provided by the ACT Foundation, AT&T, Gap Incorporated, the Joyce Foundation, the Kresge Foundation, and the Rockefeller Foundation. I would like to extend a very special welcome to uh, Mayors Bell and Myrick, who you'll hear from tomorrow that have joined us. I would also like to thank the Be The Chain board members who are in the audience tonight. Your support is important to Opportunity Nation's mission. As I said before, our co-conveners were so important to making this summit happen and demonstrate that when different sectors work together, amazing things can happen and I'd like to introduce one of them next. Suzanne Clark is the Executive Vice President of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the world's largest business federation representing interests of more than three million businesses of all sizes, sectors, and regions, as well as local and state chambers. Suzanne has had a distinguished career at the highest levels of both business and public advocacy. Please welcome Suzanne Clark. <laughs> 